Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum my dear students and welcome to my new lecture. Dear students, today we will study Pilum cylindrata which is also known as Nideria. So dear students, as usual, first we will study about the naming and meaning of the Pilum and then we will study its characteristics. So what is the meaning? of Nideria or why pilum cylindrata is also known as Nideria. The word Nideria is the combination of two Greek words. Nido means stinging which means dung marna and sight means cell. As the animals of this pilum have specialized stinging cells called nidocytes which we will now study in detail with the help of a neat diagram. Now dear students look into this diagram. This is the structure of Hydra which is a member of Pylum cylindrata. Now we will study about its different parts with the help of this diagram. We will start right from its mouth. This round structure. This is its mouth right and the structure around the mouth. This is structure is called hypostome. And these hair-like structures around the mouth are called tentacles. Some of the tentacles have been enlarged. These hair-like structures are called tentacles. So hypostome, this raised portion where the mouth is located. Then this is mouth number two. And these hair-like outgrowths around the mouth are called tentacles. And then there are outgrowths on the tentacles shown in the red. These outgrowths on the tentacles are called nidocyte or nematocyst or nematocyte. What are nematocyst or nidocyte or nematocyte? These are the outgrowths on the tentacles, right? So once again, the hypostome, the raised portion where the mouth is present. Then the number two, this is its mouth and these hair like outgrowths are called tentacles. And on the tentacles, there are nematocyte, nematocyst or nidocyte, which are the outgrowths on tentacles. Number five, now these are muscles. Now coming into its body wall, as you know that these animals are diploblastic, their body wall is composed of two layers of cells. The outer layer of cells make ectoderm, the outer layer is called ectoderm, right? While this inner layer of cells is called endoderm and between ecto and endoderm means between outer and inner layer of cells there is a non-cellular jelly-like acellular fluid called mesoglia as we have studied in pylum porifera as well so the outer layer is called ectoderm this inner layer is called endoderm and between these two layers is a jelly-like a cellular fluid called mesoglia. Now this black one, this is this layer is called gastric layer, which contains these red ones, uh, gastric glands, and this cavity is called the gastrovascular cavity, which acts as their intestine. So the gastrovascular cavity is also known as, you may also call it as roughly intestine. And this portion of the body is called the base of the body. So these are the different parts of the hydra. Now stu dear students, here is a closer view of this diagram. Look into these different parts starting right from the hypostome, mouth, tentacle, the nidocyte the muscles, the outer layer, ectoderm, inner layer, endoderm, 
mesoglia in between the outer and inner layer, the ecto and meso, ecto and endoderm, the gastric layer, the gastric gland. The gastrovascular cavity are roughly intestine and last is the base of the body. Now dear students, we will study this nidocyte or nematocyst which are the outgrowths on tentacles in detail. So we will zoom it that how it works or what is its function. Now dear students, this is an enlarged view or diagram of the tentacles and nematocyst or nidocyte. As you know that in saline traits, the mouth is surrounded by a number of tentacles. So this is a tentacle in which there are neurons. These black ones are neurons within the tentacles. And this is, this coiled structure is nematocyst or nido site. Nado means stinging and site means cell. So look into this structure. Each nematocyst consists of a small coiled thread like structure. Dear students, now this one is Dapnea which is its prey or food. So these animals live in water, they are aquatic, right? So as soon as an organism or prey or food touches the tentacle, So, nematocyst insert its needle-like filament into prey and injects a poison into it. The prey is then paralyzed. The prey is paralyzed and is then and is then brought into the gastrovascular cavity or intestine for digestion where it is digested and then distributed by diffusion. So as the nematocyst inserts its filament, needle-like filament, like a sting into the prey and paralyze it, so therefore, due to the function of nidocyte, the pilum is known as Nidaria, which is a combination of two Greek words. Nido means tanging, side means cells, which are specialized tanging cells. Now, dear students, what is the meaning of cylindrata? So, cylindrata is also a combination of two Greek words. Seal means hollow, while seal or coleus means hollow, while enteron or intrata means intestine. Hence, the animals of this pilum have a hollow sac like intestine or gastrovascular cavity. Or we may say that they are those animals in which the intestine is just like body cavity or because gastrovascular cavity acts as intestine. So, this is about its meaning. Now, dear students, we will study about the characteristics of phylum cylindrata. First, we will start from its habitat. You know habitat that the place where an organism lives is called its habitat, right? So, all members of phylum cylindrata or nidaria are aquatic, which means they live in water, both in fresh water and marine water. Number two, they are multicellular, diploblastic multicellular, which means that their body wall is composed of two layers of cells. The outer layer is called ectoderm, while the inner layer is called endoderm, which we have already studied earlier in the diagram. Number third, body symmetry. So animals of this pilum possess radial body symmetry. 
and therefore include it in kingdom in great radiator number 4 no storm status means they are neither protostomes nor deuterostomes because you know that the protostomes and deuterostomes are the two groups of triploblastic animals while these animals are diploblastic number 5 motility so animals of this phylum are freely motile means they are capable of locomotion they can freely move from one place into another but there are exceptions except obelia which is sessile or immotile this is important for mcq number 6 nutrition the cell traits feed on small organisms so they are carnivores or carnivorous as we have studied that the prey or food is immobilized or paralyzed by nematocyst or stinging cells and then taken into the digestive cavity or intestine for digestion now digestion cylindrates have incomplete digestive system or sac like the incomplete or sac like digestive system means that they have mouth it has mouth but no anus means in their body there is only one opening the mouth which acts as both mouth and anus right so remember this once for all that incomplete or sac like digestive system means k has mouth but no anus mechanism both intercellular and extra they have both types of digestion intercellular or extracellular digestion and as well as intracellular digestion means both types of digestion occur the intercellular and intracellular digestion dear students the extracellular or intercellular digestion occurs in this gastrovascular cavity or intestine outside the cells while the enter sorry while the intracellular digestion occurs in the endodermal cells now absorption by means of diffusion the digested food is absorbed into the cells of endoderm by means of diffusion and then into the ectoderm as well ejection by means of mouth at that time the mouth is called anus and when ejection occurs through mouth at that time it is known as anus so the remaining undigested food is removed or thrown out by means of mouth circulation system is absent mechanism is diffusion which means that the nutrients are transported from one part to another part of the body by means of simple diffusion respiration system is absent mechanism diffusion from higher to lower concentration means that there is no specific respiratory system in cylindrates exchange of gases occurs through diffusion exchange of gases occurs through simple diffusion excretion system is absent mechanism is simple diffusion the nitrogenous wastes are diffused out through general surface of the body by diffusion next reproduction the cylindrates reproduce both by asexual and sexual methods asexual reproduction occurs by means of budding now first we will study the asexual reproduction which occurs through budding a means without sexual mean gender means there is no fusion of male and female gametes right and it occurs through budding now we will study that how cylindrates reproduce asexually through budding so actually the bud the bud is an outgrowth from the parental body which after some time detaches and grow into new individual this is how they reproduce asexually through budding now sexual reproduction usually 
they are hermaphrodites. Hermaphrodite means when both sex organs, the testes and ovaries, are found, are found in the same animal. So, in case of sexual reproduction, from outer body wall, both testes and ovary are produced are formed. In the testes produces sperm while in the ovary produces egg. So the sperm and egg then diffuses into mesoglia which is the acellular fluid between the ectoderm and endoderm and fuse fertilization occurs to form a zygote and after fertilization new organism is produced which goes outside through mouth. Next is sensation. It is the first phylum which has organized nervous system and which is diffused nervous system important for MCQ that the cylindrates have diffused nervous system which means that neurons are spread throughout the body but not in accumulated form means no cluster of neurons means no brain or uh, we may say that there is no central nervous system or CNS. Now next we will study about its skeleton. The system is absent but the support is hydrostatic. Hydro means water, static means position which means that the water present in the gastrovascular cavity acts as support or uh, that is the shape is due to the water in gastrovascular cavity and and most of the cylindrates have a hard exoskeleton which is formed of calcium carbonate CaCO3 such as coral. Next, regeneration. What is regeneration? The ability of an organism to form lost part of its body is known as regeneration. In cylindrates, the regeneration is available. Now in the last we will study about at some members. The members of pylum cylindrata are nideria or hydra, sea anemone, jellyfish. It is not a fish, it is a cylindrate but conventionally called fish. Pyzilia, velella, propeta, pinatula, corals, and obelia. So, dear students, this is all about the pylum cylindrata or pylum nideria. In the next lectures, we will study about some members of the pylum cylindrata. Thank you.